For better or worse, M. Night Shyamalan, he became the king of the surprise ending with the reveal at the end of The Sixth Sense. In a movie filled with mind games, the ending to Paul Thomas Anderson's classic There Will Be Blood has the most memorable mind game when Eli Sunday comes over to Daniel Plainview's house with the hopes of selling him land for oil. Plainview agrees, but only if Sunday, a preacher, denounces his faith. And when he does, Plainview announces to him that the land is worthless because the oil has already been taken out of it. This leads to a violent confrontation with Plainview, killing Sunday with a bowling pin. And poetically, his last line is, I am finished. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. In one of Jack Nicholson's greatest performances, the fate of R.P. McMurphy is not only sad, but also inspiring. His rebel attitude, it has been sapped out of him due to a lobotomy, but it transfers to the gentle giant chief who finally has the strength to escape the ward. And a part of us, as an audience, Feels like the spirit of McMurphy is with him as he's doing as such. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. Gunfighter Shane has beaten the bad guys and brought justice to the West. But as he's getting on his horse, a young Joey sees that he's dripping blood and his arm is limp. And what follows is one of the most quoted lines in the history of movies with a young Joey shouting after him, Shane, come back. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. The We Blew It scene happens right before the conclusion of this revolutionary counterculture tale when Billy is shot and killed by a hillbilly. And when Wyatt, he drives off to get help, he is also shot and killed. And the movie ends on an aerial shot of Wyatt's motorcycle burning on the roadside. Check out the conclusion. I put the link in the comments. Mia and her husband, they stroll into a jazz bar when she realizes she's actually at Sebastian's bar. In fact, there he is on stage introducing the band that just played. The two of them, they lock eyes and it completely shatters Sebastian. But the flashbacks begin of their romance as he begins to play a song on his piano. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. For better or worse, M. Night Shyamalan, he became the king of the surprise ending with the reveal at the end of The Sixth Sense. As it turns out, Dr. Malcolm Crow, he was in fact one of the dead people that Cole sees and he never survived the opening scene where an intruder entered his house. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. This epic love story set during the Civil War, it ends in grand fashion. Tired of the games being played by Scarlett O'Hara, Rhett Butler walks out on her with the epic line, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. After successfully obtaining the Ark of the Covenant from the Nazis' possession, Indiana Jones brings it back to the U.S. where he is sternly told that the Ark will now be studied by top men. However, director Steven Spielberg ends the movie with the shot of the Ark being boxed up and wheeled off to a warehouse amongst thousands of other secrets. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. The rematch between Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa ends with both being knocked down in the final round and racing to stand before the referee can get a 10 count. And take it from me, the guy who watched all of these endings to do this exercise, this is still intense no matter how many times you've seen the ending. Check it out. I put the link in the comments. After destroying the alien that terrorized him and his crew, RJ McReady thinks that he's alone in Antarctica. That is, until Childs comes out of the darkness. And McReady, he thinks that Childs has been contaminated by the alien, but... He doesn't have the strength to do anything about it. So the two men, they decide to have a drink out of the same bottle and see what happens. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. It's an ending that continues to befuddle many people because after Cobb completes a job, he's allowed to return home to see his kids. And he uses the top that will let him know whether he's in reality or not. But before he sees the top spinning, he sees his kids and runs to them. Then the camera goes back to the top that is spinning. But 
Is it about to stop? We don't know. Then it cuts to black and the credits begin to roll. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. Truffaut's landmark story about a delinquent boy's life in Paris ends with him running away from a troubled boy's school to the ocean, a sight he's never seen before. He turns directly to the camera, and then we have a freeze frame, one of the most powerful images in the history of cinema that has led to countless interpretations. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. After the big reveal that Norman Bates did in fact dress up as his mother when he committed the murders at Bates Motel, director Alfred Hitchcock cuts to Bates in a holding cell when we hear the voice of Bates's mother protesting the murders in one of the most chilling sequences in the history of movies. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments comments this is one of the best remakes of a horror movie with a great shock ending we find michael who we still believe to be human walking around until he sees elizabeth who also stayed human but as elizabeth gets closer michael lets out a scream that the pod people do freezing her with terror because she realizes that michael is now one of them Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. Controversial at the time of its release because of the violence depicted, the real highlight of this sequence is the revolutionary editing, the quick cuts to close-ups, how they drove home the unrest of these outlaws, Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker, before being killed in a hail of gunfire by the police officers that were chasing them, finally catching up with them. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. After being the first man to successfully escape Shawshank, Andy sends a message to his friend Red on how to find him once he's paroled. This leads to a powerful, touching reunion on the beach between the two of them. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. You should have gone for the head. And with that, Thanos snaps his fingers and disappears, destroying half of all living things as we watch our favorite Avengers disintegrate and the ones that remain are in complete shock along with the audience. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. This Western classic gives us a blood-soaked ending that is impossible to forget. Bishop and his gang, they take on the Mexican army with their sidearms and one very, very big machine gun. It is a bloodbath with very few survivors. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. It's an ending that is very much a social commentary on the racial unrest in the United States during the time of its release in the late 1960s. Ben, who is the lone survivor in the house of a zombie attack, is then killed the next morning by hunters who mistake him for a zombie. Ben, who is black, then is thrown into a bonfire. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. With nuclear weapons almost certainly going to destroy the world, politicians and generals gather in a war room and they strategize on how mankind can survive. That's when Dr. Strangelove, he comes up with the idea of creating a super race. And as he stands up from his wheelchair, the doomsday device goes off. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. As drug lord Sosa and his men close in on the compound of Tony Montana, Tony goes out in one of the most incredible shootouts ever filmed. It includes a machine gun and a whole lot of smack talk. And it is so iconic, it will forever link Pacino and director Brian De Palma forever. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. After putting out hits on all the heads of rival mafia families, Michael Corleone is confronted by his wife Kay, who asks him about the death of his disloyal brother-in-law Carlo. Michael tells her he doesn't talk about business before confessing he had nothing to do with Carlo's death. Then she watches as all these men walk up to Michael and call him Don Corleone. As the door closes, she realizes the Michael that she fell in love with no longer exists. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. Norma Desmond is to be taken in by police for the murder of screenwriter Joe Gillis, but she refuses to move until the press arrives and cameras are present. When they do, that's when she gives her final performance, walking down the staircase directly at the camera. Then the movie ends. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. Ben successfully breaks up Elaine's wedding as the two of them 
run off to a bus. But as the excitement subsides, the camera inspects the two of them, contemplating what they have just done in the back of the bus. It stays on them as their smiles dissipate to, oh shit, blank expressions. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. When Jake finally figures out the twisted love affair between Noah and Evelyn, it's too late. The cops are hot on his trail, and it all comes to a head in the Chinatown district of Los Angeles. Evelyn, she is killed, and Noah, he leaves with Catherine. And that is when Jake receives the classic line, forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. When you think that all scores have been settled, that's when director Brian De Palma, he gives us one more in his adaption of Stephen King's novel. Sue, she is walking to the home of Carrie to pay her respects when a hand emerges from the ground and it grabs her. But we realize that she is actually dreaming. And when she wakes up in hysterics in her bedroom, the music begins to rage. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. The ending of Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey is a technological masterwork that still holds up to this day. David Bauman, he flies into a monolith where he finds a vortex of colored lights, sees an older version of himself, and then he becomes a star child. Or at least that's what I think happens. I don't know. Watch for yourself. I put the link in the comments and give me your own interpretation. This film noir is a perfect example that actions do in fact speak louder than words because it is a simple shot. A single shot with no dialogue. Alita walking away from Harry's funeral, passing Holly, proving how much she actually cared about Harry. And it is all exemplified by a pitch perfect score. Please check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. The shocking twist to David Fincher's incredible film Seven brings to a thrilling conclusion this police whodunit thriller that we thought couldn't get any more insane until it does because the police finally catch up with John Doe. Mills and Somerset are then led by the madmen to an open field where a box is delivered. What is inside the box? It is the head of Mills' wife, which leads us to our final sin being committed, wrath. Check out the ending to this incredible movie. I put the links in the comments. With plans to run off with Ilsa, Rick not only shocks her, but the audience when he tells her she should go to America with Victor. He then kills Major Strasser so her and Victor can get away. He is left with Captain Louie, who tells his officers to round up the usual suspects in the Major's death. The two of them famously walk through the fog when Rick utters one of the most famous lines in the history of cinema, Louie, I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. What does Rosebud mean? That is the word that director Orson Welles plugs into his classic movie, using it as a device to tell the life story of Charles Foster Kane. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. The most surprising twist in the history of movies, the reveal in the final few minutes of The Usual Suspects, that Verbal Kint is actually the legendary crime lord Kaiser Soze, is a twist that may never be duplicated in the history of movies. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. Thinking he has been on a planet where apes evolved into men, George Taylor realizes that he has been on Earth the entire time after seeing a destroyed Statue of Liberty. And it is the greatest ending of all time, not just because it was the perfect ending to a sci-fi movie made in the 1960s where a happy ending just wasn't in the cards, but because it still holds up to this day for its shock value. Check out the ending. I put the link in the comments. 